In this video, let's look at Spatial LM, which is a large language model for spatial understanding from the Minicore research team. Now, what is spatial understanding? So, spatial understanding refers to the ability to comprehend and interpret complex spatial figures or objects, often involving tasks related to 3D visualization and interpretation. Okay. So, for example, if you have a robot which needs to navigate through a 3D environment, then it needs to have spatial understanding. Okay. So, now what is actually happening or what is actually done with this large language model? Okay. So, what they are saying over here is that given an RGB video, which is monocular, given an RGB video, they use MAST3R or Master SLAM to reconstruct the 3D point cloud. Okay. Now, what is a 3D point cloud? A 3D point cloud is a discrete set of data points in space. This space may represent a 3D shape or object. Each point position has its set of XYZ or Cartesian coordinates. Points may also contain other data such as RGB, colors, normals, timestamps. Okay. So, these point clouds are generally produced by 3D scanners or photogrammetry software. Okay. So, what is done over here is that from the uh, video, they use this particular software, Master 3 Slam, to reconstruct the 3D point cloud. This 3D point cloud is uh, whatever uh, the dense point clouds, uh, spatial LM converts it into a structured representation. Okay. The point cloud encoder encodes the point cloud to compact features and LLM generates scene codes that describe the scene, which can be then converted into 3D structural layouts. Okay. Like this in this case. Okay. Or if you look at this particular video, what has happened over here is that uh, th this particular original video is given as input without all these 3D objects being identified. So that is converted into point cloud and then it is given to spatial LM. Okay. From spatial LM, you get these 3D representations, which are then aligned to video with GT cameras for visualization. Okay. That is what is shown over here. Right. So this is spatial LM. So if you look at uh, their training data set, uh, it is trained on a large scale photorealistic data set. The walls and objects are realistically placed, accurately reflecting real world scenarios and ensuring physical correctness. Okay. And uh, it is cross platform in the sense the prediction results are versatile and compatible across platforms. Output can be expressed in various formats, including structural layouts like 3D oriented bounding boxes, 2D floor plans, and industry standard formats such as industry foundation classes. So you have multiple ways of representing the output. And what they are saying is that this, uh, you know, uh, Spatial LM can be extended for more tasks uh, such as interacting with humans as an intelligent assistant and empowering embodied agents to perform complex tasks in challenging environments. The second case is where this LLM embed embodied into a robot can actually help the robot do navigation, basically embodied reasoning. Okay. Or here you can have intelligent interaction whereby here is a video of bedroom reconstruct its layout. So here is a structural uh, code representation of the room. Then I want to change the bed to king size. You can get a reconstruct, uh, what do you call? Uh, structural uh, this thing where the desk and chair are no longer fit to the bed so you can optimize the layout and from that you can visualize it again and see i think this is going to be pretty useful for interior design ai right whereby you want to visualize uh, by changing elements of a room in 3d okay and the thing is that uh, it can take multiple types of input such as monocular video sequences it can handle point clouds from diverse sources such as monocular video sequences rgbd images and lidar sensors okay then if you look at their github uh, over here uh, they talk about the various uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, elements or objects which can be detected right so if you see objects over here you have curtain nine stand chandelier wardrobe bed sofa chair cabinet dining table plants tv cabinet coffee table side table air conditioned dresser so many different objects are there now, i'm not sure if it's going to be limited to these objects i don't think it is limited to these objects it depends upon the llm how we can interpret so you could have or what objects they have been trained on it could uh, go and detect multiple objects, I believe, other than what is that shown is on this particular list. Okay. So this spatial uh, LM, Llama 1 billion is derived from a Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct model. And there is also a spatial LM Quen, which is 0.5 billion parameters from the Quen 2.5 series. Now, uh, both uh, th this thing, the license is that these two models are Apache 2.0 license. Okay. So all models are built on scene script cloud encoder under license CC by NC 4.0 license. So I think this whole project uh, can be used for commercial purposes also. Okay. Uh, the model as such in my own understanding of the licenses over here. I'm not sure about it, uh, the exact terms, but looking at Apache 2.0 and uh, CC by NC 4.0, I think it should be uh, 
used for commercial purposes also okay uh, the data sets are available in hugging face whereby you have these scenes and the point clouds you okay, can have the layout also over here layout of each scene basically the text is available right so this is the data set training data set which uh, they have released the models have been released on hugging face they have also explained how you can actually try this locally right you can um, create an environment clone this repository and try it locally also the input is going to be point cloud scenes okay so you can use point cloud scene data from this data set the input is going to be the point cloud scene and the output is going to be your structured 3d representation okay which you can also visualize so you can go and try out this uh, code as well and see how it works uh, some of the examples may exactly show this particular visualization which they have over here so this is an interesting new model um, making use of a large language model for spatial understanding you can check out this particular uh, block right you can also try out the code over here uh, for uh, try locally use these point clouds as input if you have point cloud data of rooms present so maybe you can try that also of interiors or whatever point cloud data you can also try it hope this video is useful to you uh, see you in another video